Welcome to a new video guys and today we are looking at Remothered Broken Porcelain for the PS4 system. Um, this is the second game out of a alleged trilogy that's supposed to come. Uh, the first game was Remothered Tormented Fathers which I played on the PS4 I think about a year and a half ago. I really enjoyed that one but the version I played of that one was post patched. Uh, I never played the original version that they put out. I heard it was pretty broken and that's where we get to this game. So. Um, <laughs> A lot of people always ask me, hey, Reggie, what is the game you're looking forward to the most this year? I usually get asked that all the time, and I've been saying this though all the time, like Remother Broken Porcelain. Uh, this is the game I'm looking forward to. I love survival horror games. This game reminds me of Haunting Ground and uh, Clock Tower, so it was definitely right up my alley. Um, when you first look at this game, you know, I think the whole presentation looks great. You know, the character animations, well, character models, I would say, look really good. As far as the animations go, um, they're a bit, they feel like they look a bit unfinished. And um, a lot of gameplay issues, let me start with the controls first. When you play a survival horror game, the controls have got to be spot on because uh, depending on what kind of survival horror game it is, you gotta be able to run from your enemy or you know be able to pull out a weapon and take care of them really fast. And this game is a game where you have to usually run from your enemies because um, you're playing as I believe a 15, 16 year old girl named Jennifer. And uh, she's not very strong or anything like that, you know, so her pursuers in this game are pretty much like way stronger than she is. So uh, there's a lot of situations that you got to be ready to like, like pretty much just, just hide or, or get out of there. And that's where the problems with this game start for me. In the beginning of the game, they throw you in a situation uh, where you're being chased by an enemy. And, you know, obviously you want to run from that person, but the controls were just not responsive where they had me kneeling. I, while I was trying to run, you know, and the weapon that I had disappeared, you know, it was just like so frustrating. And the enemy uh, behind me was just following me slowly, stalking me. For some reason, he wasn't attacking me at first uh, until a little bit later. But you know, he was just he was just right on me, and I couldn't run. Everything I would try, you know, uh, my character would not get out of the crouched position. So that was already frustrating to me. I was like, dude, like, what is going on here? Like, and, you know, I'm pushing the buttons, I'm trying to get stuff to respond, and it's not happening. And for this to happen in a survival horror game like this, where you have to depend on like quick reactions, um, it's just just a bad sign. All right, so another issue I have with the game, and this may be just a pet peeve or whatnot. You guys, let me know what you think about it. But when you're when you have a game and you have some cinematic storytelling, there's cameras set up in games to kind of give you certain viewpoints of the characters. Um, this only lasts maybe for a little while before they go into back into gameplay mode and then you listen to this dialogue which you have control of the camera where you can look around your environment but you're in you're kind of like still in a cinematic mode and it kind of like makes you not really want like pay attention pretty much you know what i mean like when characters are kind of going back between each other with dialogue you want to know you want to know that there's that's what you need to pay attention to you know, when it gets into this type of mode, you're like thinking like, oh, am I going to jump into a gameplay mode? What's going on here? So you're looking around your environment, kind of like debating on what you have to do next or whatnot. So I felt that was kind of like a, a cheap way to kind of like uh, with the storytelling, at least for um, Rose Mary Reed's part, which is the character on screen here. There's another part early in the game that I noticed this as well is when Jennifer goes and meets the head. I think the head of the hotel. I can't remember who he is, but as you're seeing from this, this scene here, you know, it's a cinematic screen, a man talking on the phone, smoking a cigarette. Jennifer goes to meet him, and then they have a back and forth with each other. But the back and forth is like, it's really weird because you can't tell who they want you to focus on or what's really like, it, the scene is just, it just feels really off. You know, it started off good, and then it just goes into like this this gameplay mode where you don't know who's, t who's who. And you can pan the camera around if you want to and everything like that, but it just kind of takes away from the purpose, it seems. I really feel like when you're kind of like going through the story like that, you need to have different camera angles to kind of express, you know, what's like the cinema. I don't know. It's just it's hard to really explain unless you like you, you play like games with, with big cinematic experiences. I'm not saying this game is going to be that, but it just feels like they could have done better with this scene here. I mean, instead of you spinning around the camera and kind of looking at your environment, you know, you want to pay attention to the two that are talking right there because this that's this is the type of moment where you'll see they're talking like that and you'll turn your head away and, you, and it, because it doesn't feel like it's it's something really noteworthy or whatnot 
So like any survival horror game, the game introduces to your environments and as you're slowly walking around just following like the story, um, you, you get a look at your environment and everything like that. The first game did the same thing and this one does it, but it kind of feels rushed and it really looks choppy. You know, the way the characters walk and the missing animation, it just doesn't feel right, especially from the trailers that we saw for the game. You know, this looks like a complete different product. Like, um, it feels like this is a, like, a, I don't know, there's some kind of beta or something like that. And, um, I mean, I got, but this, I don't know if I said this before, if I didn't say it already, uh, it, it, this was a um, unpatched version that I'm playing right now. Um, the game asked me if I wanted to use a day one patch. I'm like, hell no, let me just go and play the game because I didn't think it would be that much. But man, um, I wish I would have tried it at least, man, because um, the way this game looks right here is just horrible. I mean, this looks like this should, this is not even a Switch copy. I mean, look how it's moving right now. That's like insane. And if you look at the trailers of this game, it's like, what this? what is going on here? Like, how could they put this product out knowing that it was like this? You know, it's a shame, really. I, I don't get it. It's like these companies, they use the day one patch as a crutch. You know, they know what they're putting out. And especially, I feel like when you put a game out on disc, you know, um, that you want that to be a definitive version of it or at least try it for it to be. But no, nah, not with this game at all. You know, they just put it out there. And I don't know what the case was with this game. I mean, a, a new publisher uh, helped them publish this game, I think, or funded this game. And um, they had probably had a deadline, and they had to meet that deadline. You know, it was under contract or whatnot. And they don't meet the deadline, and they got problems. So they put the game out as is. But unfortunately, look at that crap, man. You see the arm just now? This is this is getting me mad. <laughs> just looking at this again, you know. I, this is what I want to say to guys: never force yourself to play a game that is that is just bad. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to say this game. It's going to be bad in the future hopefully they fix a lot of these issues but it's just bad the way it is now i couldn't recommend anyone play this game and i was pumped for this game but as of right now it is not playable and uh, i've downloaded the day one patch still a lot of issues missing items and stuff like that and as of this video right now um there is another patch that they released uh, 1.02 that fixes a lot of issues uh, that they have on their facebook page they got them listed but I don't know how they could have fixed it that fast, man. I mean, seriously, they just had it waiting like that? I mean, I don't know what's going on with that. It just seems kind of weird and everything like that. Uh, look how the game is moving right here. It's like it's 30 frames per second or lower. It doesn't look right. And this is on the PS4. And they, they have a the day one patch added a 4K support for PS4 Pro. Um, I mean, it probably, Jesus Christ, man. How would it look on that? It probably look just as bad. You know, this is the way the game is. I mean, this is... This is unacceptable, man. Look at how the character's moving right now. That doesn't look right at all, you know? Um, I'm sorry to keep complaining about it. It's just really a disappointment. And, you know, it kind of shows me that a lot of games, and, you know, I'll go over the issues with the company themselves, but it feels like the physical, the physical game is just dying with this type of stuff, man. Like, they put out, like, this weak version on a disc, on a physical format, and... This, that's what you have to go with. Well, you don't, well, some people don't have internet or whatnot like that. You know, they can't download that patch. They got a broken product, you know. That's why physical media these, these days, man, just doesn't feel like um, it's complete like it used to be you know, with certain packages. Like, I've talked about this on the channel a bunch of times, but it's just it's an ongoing issue that uh, needs to be addressed. Where I do think the game is actually good at is the sound and the music that it has going for it. You know, you have this anonymous feel like this like there's danger around the every corner and um that's what you want in this type of game um all that is good there the sound effects the, the whistling from the intro i think everything sounds good the voice acting um is a little bit little bit questionable jennifer and her friend i think when they were what they were arguing about i was like man teenage girls don't talk like this but hey they're from another this is a different time so uh, maybe I, I just don't know but it just didn't seem right to me but um Walking around the halls, you kind of like want to like use the camera to kind of peek, peer around to see uh, what's going on, and it has that music that just really just kind of trips you out. It's, it's really a nice effect, and the first game had it as well, and this one does it well. But the music and uh, and sound effects are the only thing I could really say good about this game as of right now. You know, um, very disappointing, and uh, you know I, I had a lot like riding on this game because I've actually been waiting on this game to be released. You know, I was pumped after I played the first game. 
and I felt like this one would be even better. You know, it feels like out of a trilogy, the middle movie is always usually one of the best ones, you know, to kind of spice things up. But um, kind of think about the Mass Effect series too, if you will. Um, Mass, people consider Mass Effect 2 the best one out of the series. That's the one they want to go to. So I felt like this one would be like probably like the best one in the series. Um, and it, But the way things are going, it might be the last one in the series because if the people don't trust the developers again. I mean, I don't know what's going to happen with this game, but hopefully things will get fixed. Um, but this is a prime example of why physical media is like, man, like, dude, like, day one patches are just, people are using it as a crutch, it seems, and it sucks. Now, let's go over, let's say it like this. So maybe um, day one patches, they have to do it because they have to have their discs made, pressed at a certain time, and they might not get the patches on there, you know, so that might be a thing too. I don't know. Look, all in all, the creator of this game, Chris Durrell, I've uh, been following him since, I think, around 2010 when this game was pretty much a, um, uh, what you would call a remake of the first Clock Tower game. It was a more a reimagination of it. And um, I followed his work and uh, it was very trustworthy, at least. And, you know, I feel like he's a very dedicated uh, fan of survival horror games. I would call, I would definitely call him a survival horror enthusiast. And, um... I would figure, like, from what he's learned and enjoyed from those games, since he wanted to create his own, that he would, like, pretty much put those in this game. But he's done that. But to put out a product like this, I just don't know what, what they were thinking with this. And I just, it's just, it just looks bad on the company. Now, with the new people of the today, man, they're very forgiving, you know, with patches and all that stuff, all that they'll be okay with it, man. But I just don't understand. Like, what if, you know, somebody wanted to, like, show do a presentation on this and freaking they show this you know he would get laughed at let's say wow this game is buggy this is your this is your masterpiece what's going on here you know it just doesn't seem right all right so i just got through trying out the patch 1.02 and they fix issues in it but there's still a lot of issues with the game that need to be corrected before it's fully playable you know you could maybe force yourself to play it now but i don't want to waste the time with something that's just not, it's just pretty unfinished, I would say, and it's lackluster. So um, I'm gonna wait for something better. Hopefully, um, they'll get that to us soon. They said there's a, another patch uh, coming this week, um, but as of right now, I can't recommend playing this game for anybody. It just, it just doesn't play well. And I know I've been keep saying that through the whole video, but it's just the way it is, you know. Very disappointed, but then again, you know. Maybe they could correct this, you know. Um, I, I think I would have been a lot more forgiving if it was a digital-only copy of the game. Like, they hadn't made a physical for it yet. You know, I feel like a physical is the final version for some of these games. That should be the, the best version of, of the game, of course. You know, you could, you could play with making it a digital game at first, you know, fixing all the bugs and issues from that point. But once you make it a physical game, it's, man, it seems like that's that's it, man. That, you, that, you know, that everything should be fixed on that, or, or like at least the major, majority of stuff. Um, I don't know what's going on with this one, you know, but, um, hey, I'll just leave it at that. But anyways, guys, if you played this game, let me know in the comments what you think. If you haven't played this game, that's good for you. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep you guys updated when the game is actually playable. Um, so that's all I got to say, man. I got better things to do right now. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Radical Reggie, and I will see you later. Too late for that, my dear. Yeah, Miguel, I think I'm gonna do that, guys. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining me on the stream. I'll stream again. I'm gonna download the patch and hopefully things will be better. But right now, they pretty much suck. And um, hopefully it'll fix a lot of issues, I don't know. But um, let's, just end, let's just end it. There we go. That's what we think of this game so far. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching.